Welcome back to my channel, Serendipity. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to US versus UK McDonald's. Now we all know <laughs> what they serve you is not real food, it's processed, but everybody still goes and eats it. I've heard a few things that's in like the chicken nuggets and stuff and they're all just horrible stuff. And the best thing about it is we know about it, but then we still go and eat it. And I feel like today it's more of a, it, it became less of like every now and then type thing. Cause I know as like when I was a kid, fast food, we never ate fast food because the closest one was like almost an hour away. But now they're getting so close where you don't even have to drive that far to go and get it. So then you're like, don't really feel like cooking. I gotta eat though. I can just hurry up and drive five minutes <laughs> and then have food. Such a bad thing to do. <laughs> I already know it's gonna be gross. It's gonna be bad. But before we get into the video, if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel and push the notification bell to be reminded when I post my videos. Without further ado, let's get into this video. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out the biggest differences between UK and US McDonald's. This is what a small drink looks like in the UK. This is a US small. This is what a medium drink looks like. This double is a US medium. And this is a large. Oh, and this is a US large. Jeez, almost double the, the largest. So with our McNuggets in the UK, the default adult sizes on the menu are a box of six, a box of nine, nine. or That's a, weird a share number box to be of 20. Nine. Am I the only one? I hate item yeah. numbers. I don't know why I don't like nine numbers. So it's weird that it would stop at nine, not like just go to ten. Box of four, or you can get a six, six piece, two, or ten. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty for sharing. Or and then I think the, yeah, I think they just uh, added the forty piece. Forty. And according to the three McDonald's in the area, they don't have 20 or 40 boxes. They just do them in a Yeah, but there is but this 20. Is the there's 20 nugget boxes. In the UK, we've got three sizes of fries. No, These are our small fries in the paper bag. Small. Here is the small fry. These are our medium fries in the iconic carton. Honestly, there let's is. just get this out of the way. McDonald's isn't <laughs> good at all. The only time that makes me like be like, Oh, I want to go to eat at McDonald's. Is the, their fries like that's the only reason I'm like let's go to McDonald's. And if they ever change their fries, if they ever um, I don't know, not do their fries, they lost me because nothing's there is good. The medium fries, and then these are our large fries. And here is the large fry. So we couldn't find an exact weight measurement of the fries online. So what we're gonna do is weigh them ourselves. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, we're gonna bring our trusty friend, the scales back. And we're gonna weigh the Big Mac and see if there is any difference in size. I've never had a Not Big sure Mac. Be, I don't like any of the burgers there. Don't go to McDonald's to get a burger. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This was basically the same. <laughs> so while McDonald's fries might look and taste pretty similar in the UK and the US, in the UK we only have three ingredients. Which, oil, salt, and that should be the only ingredients. The McDonald's French fries uh, in America have this. way more ingredients. These fries are made from potatoes, obviously. A vegetable oil, which is canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, hydrogenated, <laughs> hydrogenated. I feel like hydrogenated? if you can't say the word, it shouldn't ah, be in there. Thank you. Hydrogenated soybean oil, natural beef Man. flavor, dextrose, sodium, acid, phosphate, 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 pyrophosphate, pyrophosphate, sodium. Acid, pyrophosphate, which is used to maintain the color. 
Uh, are they that much of a different color than the ones in the UK? Is it worth it? Can we get a side-by-side -side comparison? Are they that much more bright yellow? We need to what? I did not even know that they were it. like that yellow. Salt. And I should mention that a natural beef flavor contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as a starting ingredient. And of course, I have no idea what that is. I've heard about the, the so ingredients the calorie in difference in a Big Mac That's actually comes from wild. the sauce. In the US, they've got about 40 more calories than we do in the UK. We're not sure if this is because there's more sauce or because of the ingredients list. In the UK, it's just a little bit more simple. Our sauce is made of soybean oil, sweet relish. I don't know, I never had it, so nice I'm pickles, not really sure. Sugar, high fructose corn syrup, distilled vinegar, See. salt, corn syrup, all right, two, two types of corn syrup, xanthan gum, some gum. Calcium chloride. Glasses extractives. In. Water. <laughs> I've heard water. of water. Egg yolks. <laughs> distilled vinegar. Mm. Spices. Onion powder. Salt. Propylene glycol alginate. Garlic alginate. powder. Oh. Vegetable protein, which has hydrolyzed corn, soy, and wheat. Sugar. Caramel color. Turmeric. Extractives of paprika. And of course, soy. Lechithin. Leachathen. Camera color? Lecithin. I don't know which one it is. So if you are trying Jeez. to eat healthily at McDonald's, it might healthy. actually be the drinks that you have to look up. I don't think healthy at McDonald's is a thing. I don't, I'm not sure if that's really a thing. Cool. Unless you're gonna get like one thing, but it's still not healthy. That's nothing, guys. Our chocolate not, shake, I lied. 840 calories. The milkshake is also a reason why I go. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. I don't know what's in the McDonald's milkshake. It's probably horrible for you, but it's it's, it's one a great thing. It's great. Um, so that I just realized does is there still like the conspiracy in the UK about the milkshake? Um, what is it called? The milkshake machine. Um, that like it never works. It's always out of order. Um, literally, I can never go to McDonald's and order a milkshake. It's once in a blue moon. There's a few months ago I've, I went to McDonald's and I was like, I ordered what I wanted. And then I was like, just, I'm gonna by chance be like, you have a medium chocolate milkshake? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, Wait wait wait. Um, I'm gonna make it. A, I'm gonna make it large, because I'm never gonna get this again. And I've literally never had McDonald's milkshake again. I've tested it a few times since then, and this was like beginning of the year. So I wanna know if the if in the UK the milkshake machines don't work. That's as many calories as two cheeseburgers and one hamburger. Oh nice. So what does that all mean? If you were to walk into a UK McDonald's and order yourself a large Big Mac meal with a milkshake, it would be around 1,400 calories. And if you were to get the large Big Mac meal with the chocolate shake in America, the total <laughs> here is 1,870 Jeez. calories. So that's 1,870 calories. The daily calorie allowance for an American dude is 2,500. Okay, so you have 630 left. Nice. Uh, one McNugget is 55 calories, right? So you could also have uh, 11 more nuggets, and uh, there you go. That's all you need for the day. Nice. <laughs> nice to know. Here's Let's everything see. you can only get at a UK McDonald's. So here we've got the Veggie Deluxe Burger, which is a veggie I had burger. A veggie bur served uh, burger some at um, and some lettuce. Burger King. Here we've got a Chicken good. Legend, which is a chicken burger, again, served with mayo and lettuce. Nice. Chicken legend, I, I don't even know what that is. I'm not gonna catch on. That can stay in the UK. <laughs> we have a range of wraps that you can get in the UK. The wrap, wrap of the day. Good. Here we've got the fajita crisp, which is some chicken, along with some veg and some spicy fajita sauce. Here we've got some veggie dippers. Veggie dippers. These were actually introduced as part of Veganuary in 2020 in the UK, but they've stuck on the menu. So these are vegan society approved, and they're sort of like a fried bean patty sort of thing. Hmm. Like, pick a more unappetizing <laughs> thing it to get it. Probably is good, I would Actually say. Dippers. And then finally, we've got some mozzarella dippers, which Ooh. are just kind of mozzarella sticks, really. I love a mozzarella stick. Well, sucks to be in the UK, because everything you see right here is USA only, <laughs> baby.
Ha <laughs> ha! USA only! <laughs> the way he's trying to brag. So I'm going to talk about the coffee drinks real fast. Here in the U.S., we have all the same coffee drinks they do in the U.K. The coffee. Every coffee drink has an care. iced, iced version and also a caramel and or French vanilla and or mocha version, depending on what you're getting. So we in the U.S., of course, have more variety. Shamrock Shake. The Shamrock I've Shake is like, it's like vanilla good. and mint shake. Strawberry Sunday. Mm. This has recently been discontinued in the U.K. Sorry, guys. Still got it in the U.S. My favorite yeah, the, kid. The, the, yeah. Caramel Sunday. Chocolate Sunday is Fruit and the yogurt classic. parfait. Maybe it's healthy, I have no idea. Probably not. Those were the cold items I wanted to get out of the way as they slowly melt under these lights. Got a lot more to go through. <laughs> Harry, bear with me here, buddy. Oh, I've had, crispy I've had the sandwich. crispy chicken. That was Yo, pretty good. I think this was introduced when the chicken sandwich wars were really heating mm -hmm. up when Chick-fil-A started taking over. Let's see what's under the hood. It is pretty decent. This, yeah. Never had that. Quarter pounder with cheese, deluxe. This is your fancy quarter pounder with cheese. This is uh, for uh, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday dinner. dinner. When you have company over. Ah, there's so much. Sausage breakfast burrito. Even after it's for a while, it's like still like glowing <laughs> yellow. <laughs> wow. Um, now these are the buttermilk I've never had that either. crispy chicken tenders. These smell amazing. I didn't know they had tenders. Oh, bite and be so bad. What? <laughs> I just took a big bite. I want to talk about sauces real quick. Okay, I'm at McDonald's and I go, give me one of everything. I've heard from the heard from Harry and the team over at the that. UK that some of these they don't have, including sweet and sour, honey mustard. What else don't you guys have? I don't think you guys My have go -to ranch is either. Ranch, buffalo. I honey mustard, say, the and maybe barbecue sauce. We've got a couple of sauces that are kind of unique to the UK as well. Ooh. We've got a sweet curry dipping that sauce. That sounds good. And then we've also got a salsa dip as well, which I didn't know existed until today. Oh, yes. Donut sticks. Yeah, donut sticks. These donut sticks <sighs> also come with the chocolate dipping sauce. I'm never up sauce. that early to Another get thing, I'm certain McDonald's they don't have breakfast. Weekend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Breakfast kind of is looks a served. Gross. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's ready to start the day? It's McGriddle talk. Oh, the McGriddle. Whoever, whoever came up with that concept was genius. <laughs> so for those of you in the UK who don't know what a McGriddle is, uh, the United States mm -hmm. McDonald's had this genius <laughs> idea. What if we took breakfast sandwiches, replaced the buns, and, and made them pancakes, and somehow injected some sort of syrup flavor into the pancakes? Yeah. And the McGriddle it's was pretty born, good. I have to say, they're fantastic. This I used one right to here, just get the, the bacon, biscuit, egg, just the sausage cheese, biscuit, McGriddle. but the McGriddle is like my new favorite. If this is the uh, I'm ever up sausage. to get McDonald's, I mean, the only time yeah. I've ever had McDonald's mm. breakfast mm. is usually like road trips. Mm. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese. Now all I see is the yellow. American <laughs> food engineering at its finest. That's all I see now. In the UK, you guys call biscuits cookies. Here, no. So in the UK, biscuits are cookies, or what we call cookies. In the US, uh, biscuits are what we call... Uh, I think it's scones, I don't know huh? what else you can call them. Like... You I think that would be the most from the south, and they're dry. And some of them, can, some Much biscuits like the can be dry. We have a version of every breakfast sandwich that, instead of the regular bun bread, it's biscuits, not the cookie biscuits like you guys have. Um, these biscuits. Joe, you were so close on the whole cookie biscuit thing. What you guys call biscuits, we would actually kind of call scones or scones, depending on where you're from. And the thought of putting breakfast food in what? between them is kind of weird. They're usually reserved for cream. We jam, put jam on cream. it. It's usually a piece of sausage or Last sometimes you can and you put jelly in my or opinion, um, least butter on it. Is this thing the salad. Southwest grilled chicken salad. <laughs> uh. Making somewhat, somewhat healthy to not. But can I, can I eat now? Yeah, go ahead yeah. and eat. Yeah, okay, cool. Get that Big Mac. I don't care how many calories, it's just really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, I did not know about the, well, I could only assume the food coloring here is wild. It's literally, 
almost in anything and everything you eat. So I, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am to look at the difference in color and how much stuff is actually in the fries. That's probably why literally after it's not hot anymore, it's gross. But then once again, we'll still go out and go eat it. Man, I forgot that too. Okay. <laughs> I What I didn't realize into last year when we was we had a road trip to Arkansas and we went and stopped at McDonald's in Arkansas. And literally like I only eat like if it's breakfast, I'll get maybe the sausage biscuit or the McGriddle. But if it's like lunchtime or supper time or whatever, I'm gonna get either a hot and spicy, maybe the chick well, the chicken sandwich or like maybe the nuggets. Like I'm literally just there for the fries, <laughs> really. They don't have hot and spicy. I thought that was everywhere. And plus Arkansas is still considered the South. So like why wouldn't they have hot and spicy there? It's literally the best thing on the menu is a hot and spicy, which is literally basically a chicken patty that's hot, but it's phenomenal, it's awesome. I didn't even think that that was just a, I don't even know if it's just a Louisiana thing. I don't know if Mississippi has hot and spicies or whatever. I've only ever ate really McDonald's in Louisiana. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the US versus UK McDonald's. The only thing that shocked me on like the UK side was the, um, numbers in the nuggets, nine. I'm usually, I'm, I'm never like an odd person. Like if I'm turning up the volume and it's like on 17, no, it's gotta be 16 or 18. Can't leave it on an odd number. I don't know why I've always been like that. So with the nuggets being a nine, that's just, I feel like that's just weird. <laughs> you gotta either bring it to a 10 or bring it to an eight, not a nine. That's just, ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment and if you have any other reactions or any other videos you would want me to see. And like always, there's more to come and I'll see you in the next one.